Good evening, guys. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to our SEA specimen paper series here at the Sea Results Academy. So, we're in section two of the paper, the mathematics paper, and we'll be beginning today with question number 25. 25 reads Shane's computer store had a sale on mobile devices. What was the total discount given if a customer purchased both items shown below? So, we're looking to find the total discount given. Okay, so there's a laptop here with a 33 and a 30% discount, and the original price is 36.75. And there's a tablet here for 15.75 that has a 20% discount. Now remember, we are not asked in this question to find the discounted prices. We are actually um, asked to find the total discount. So be wary, guys. Always remember to pay special attention when you're reading your questions so that you give the right answer. So we're going to work the discount out for the um, laptop first. So the laptop has a discount of 33 and a third percent. Now 33 and a third percent um, as a fraction, you all should know this, right? I know I have spoken about this in our previous videos on YouTube that dealt specifically with fractions and percentages. Um, so it's, there are some percentages that we just need to know offhand, like 25% is a quarter, 50% is one half, 75% is three quarters, 12.5% um, is one eighth. We should know that 33 and a third percent is one third. Okay, but just in case you didn't know, I will just run it through with you briefly. All right, so 33 and a third percent is 33 and a third divided by 100. So if I make this numerator an improper fraction, I'm going to actually get 100 divided by 3 or 100 over 3 by multiplying 33 by 3, which is 99 plus 1 is 100. Put it over the denominator of 3. And that's all over 100 now because it's a percentage, right? So all over 100 means the same as divided by 100. So therefore, we'll have 100 over 3 divided by 100 over 1. And when we divide fractions, we basically flip the second fraction or invert it and change the problem to a multiplication problem. So we get 1 over 100. And when we multiply, these can cross cancel 100 into 101. And then we end up with one third. So the 33 and a third percent discount is basically one third um, of the original price. So we're going to work that out for you now. So we're going to find one third of $3,675. And that will give me a discount of $1,225. So I'm just going to write that down here. So I have to add this on now to my second discount, which is the discount on the um, tablets. So the discount on the tablets is 20%. Now 20% is easily reduced to one fifth. So I'm therefore going to be finding one fifth of 1575 or $1,575. And that gives me $315, right? So therefore, my total discount will be equal to $1,225 or $1,225 plus $315. And that's going to give me a total of $1,540. Total discount. Remember, we are asked for the total discount and not the total discounted price okay so that's it for this question okay so here we are with number 26 guys which reads on monday 400 students were present at mountain view primary school 
By lunchtime, 40% of the students fell ill and returned home. The number of girls who remained was four times the number of boys. How many boys remained after lunch? So by lunchtime, 40% of the students fell ill and returned home. So therefore, after lunch, there will be 40% um, less uh, students in the school than there was before. So we're going to have to deduct this 40% of the students before we try to determine how many boys remain after lunch. So what is 40% of 400? That's our first step. We have to find 40% of 400. And that's going to give us 160 students. Okay, 160 students. So when those students leave, we're going to be left with 400 minus 160, which is equal to 240 students. So now that we know we have 240 students after lunch, we have to figure out how many boys remain. Now the number of girls who remained was four times the number of boys. So what this is telling me is that if I had a block diagram to basically represent this, I'm going to have four parts being girls because the girls outnumber the boys um, four times to one, right? All right, so we have something like this. We have four of these being girls. All right, and one being boys. So what we have here is a situation now where we have five equal parts. So the boys will represent one part of this five. And in order to calculate the number of boys, therefore, we're just going to have to find what is one fifth of 240. And that should give me 48 boys. We have a total of 48 boys that remain after lunch. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give us a like on uh, Facebook and on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Click the notification button so that you're notified each time we post a new video. Remember, we're posting very regularly, basically daily these days until we get through these two specimen papers, the mathematics paper and the ELA paper. So do have a fantastic evening, and I hope to see you again tomorrow, God willing. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.